it's Stacy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you know you're interested in me making more videos, I'm not used to this. This is the first video that I'm ever filming, so I'm sorry if I'm awkward. Um, but if you'd like to see more from me, subscribe, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know any other videos that you'd like to see and I'd be happy to make more. But this video is specifically going to be my skincare routine. So my morning slash evening or night skincare routine doesn't really change. There's maybe two products that are different in each one. Um, and I've been using all of these products for literally months, if not years. If I find something that works, I stick with it. I have sensitive skin, so it breaks out really easily. I get um, hormonal breakouts. I get, I have really bad um, food sensitivities, so I also get allergy type of breakouts where it's always kind of in this area here. And then hormonal, it'll just be kind of anywhere. Um, but yeah, so basically before I started, my before I converted to natural skincare and natural everything so everything that I use is all natural for the most part except for maybe some eyeshadows and lip products in terms of makeup in terms of my actual skincare routine I only use all natural products um, and I will honestly react to anything else and before I got on this journey I would have bad breakouts um, and so I mean, it's just never fun to have that. So I'm just really happy that since making this transition, it has made all the difference. It's, it's just amazing. So this is what works for me specifically. It might not work for everyone, so I'm not gonna promise that, you know, if you use all these products, that you'll get the results that I got. Um, everyone's just so different. So this is kind of a guideline or a starting point. Um, and hopefully, it works for you hopefully something is useful but anyways just going natural I would 100% recommend no matter what <laughs> so to start I will talk about my cleanser so I'm actually first I'll mention what I use in the morning so I keep this in my shower I shower every morning and I use this as my cleanser in the mornings because it is a cleanser and a scrub and it's all natural it's environmentally friendly because a lot of scrubs they if if you didn't know they a lot of the times use little plastic beads which then gets released into the environment so not environmentally friendly at all whereas this it uses i think it's little walnut shells yeah pretty sure it's walnut shells so, i mean it's not rough, that makes it sound, sound really rough, but it isn't. I Since I use this every day, it's gentle enough. I like using an exfoliator cleanser in the morning. I shouldn't have any makeup left over on my face, so it's not like I need a deep clean. But I do like having the exfoliation because then it kind of preps your skin nicely for the day. And it's a nice clean slate for makeup and it just, it's nice to have a smooth face in the morning. Um, but anyways, this is amazing. I love this. Um, specifically it's called Sukin revitalizing facial scrub so this is what it looks like and it's first of all it smells amazing it smells so good I think it's so there's the vanilla lavender orange just literally all of the ingredients I can see if I can kind of put in the corner somewhere the ingredients list of all the products that I'm showing you because they're just outstanding like you can pronounce them, <laughs> you know what they are for the most part. So it's just great, you want that. If you're putting on your skin every day, if it's supposed to be cleansing your skin, if it's supposed to be good for your skin, you should not be putting chemicals there. In terms of my nighttime cleanser, I use this. So this is what it looks like. It's called Himalaya Botanic um, Balancing Neem and Turmeric Face Wash for normal to oily skin. I absolutely love this. I think this was the first, maybe not the first, but one of the first face washes that I tried since converting to the more natural skincare. And honestly, I just have stuck with it. This is probably 
the product that I've been using for the longest. It's amazing. It takes off literally all of your makeup. Yeah, I don't wear waterproof mascara, um, but I've never had any problems in this taking off all of my mascara. Like, it's just unbelievable. And the other thing too, is that I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I've used cleansers before, even natural ones, where you use it to take off your eye makeup and it irritates your eyes so bad, like so bad. And I can't do that. I don't have a specific eye makeup remover. I just literally use this to wash my face and take my eye makeup off and everything. Um, and it works so well, takes off all your mascara, doesn't burn your eyes, just great. I'll stop talking about this. Another thing that I did want to mention is that I am not wearing any makeup right now. The only thing that I'm wearing is literally lip liner and lip gloss, <laughs> that's it. I wanted to kind of show you, I guess, what my skin looks like, makeup free, um, literally nothing on, cause then you can see what my skin looks like. And I have just like a bit of redness here from previous breakouts. And like, besides that, I don't really have much. Like I just always kind of have little dots here from my allergies. But I really don't have much right now, and I always break out really bad. Not really bad. Bad for me. Um, every month. So at that time of the, or right before that time of the month, I always break out decently. Um, it's not fun. And the weird thing is, is that for the first time in I don't know how long, it's that time right now, and I don't have any breakouts. It's just. It's crazy. I've changed one thing in my routine, which I will talk about at the end of this video. And I honestly attribute my skin results right now to that. Anyways, we'll get to that at the end of the video. Um, for now, I'll just keep going along with my routine. So, so I have two different kinds of toners that I use. So this is my morning toner and it's not necessary to have two toners. You can totally just stick with one, but I have reasoning behind it. I am very environmentally conscious. I'm not perfect, but I do what I can and I'm constantly trying to do better. So basically, since at night, the goal is to fully remove any makeup that I have on. The goal is to have, you know, just completely clean skin going to bed because otherwise that's how you can wake up with breakouts. So I want, obviously, at night to use a face pad um, with toner to completely take anything off that my, my cleanser maybe didn't get. You know, using cotton pads, it's not environmentally friendly to continue to dispose of these things. I wanted to get a toner that's a spray for in the mornings so that I didn't have to use as many cotton pads. And because in the morning, like I said, you shouldn't have any more makeup to take off you literally just slept on your pillow and so there shouldn't there shouldn't be a need for that much extra like wiping of your face so anyways I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> that's my reasoning so I use this toner in the mornings it's called it's from Wildcraft and it's called clarify toner with bergamot and rose and I believe this is a Canadian company it's really good. I love it. It literally, the ingredients are rose flower water, witch hazel, aloe leaf juice, and bergamot fruit oil. Like, that's it. It's awesome. And it, these are all the ingredients that you want in a toner. It's just amazing. It's clarifying. It's moisturizing. Feels good. Smells good. Anyways, so this one, this is what I use at night. So it's by Thayer's. I think this is a pretty common one. And a facial toner, witch hazel aloe vera formula with rose petal. So this is it. And this is what I use at night. And it's amazing. I use it with, I can go into more detail on this in a different video. So I won't talk too long now, but I use it with these bamboo face pads that are reusable, that are washable, that are amazing. This, it's it looks brand new. I've used it probably more than 10 times. So... Anyways, I put some on here, wipe my face with it, take any leftover mascara, whatever, off with it at night, and it's just amazing. It's alcohol-free, 
key thing to note here, do not use alcohol in your toner. Ideally, don't use alcohol in any face product because it is so bad for your skin. It is counterproductive, it'll make you break up. Literally since I switched from, I think before I was using Burt's Bees toner, which has alcohol in it. Since I switched from that toner to this one, years ago when I first started transitioning to more natural products, it made such a big difference. After toner, I use a face oil. So I used to never be very big on face oils. I thought, you know, it's just an extra step, an extra product. Didn't really need it. Tried a bunch of face oils. They work well, but they weren't life-changing. They weren't great. This one, I mean, I'm sure every brand will be just as good, maybe better, because this is the one of the more affordable versions, affordable brands at least. So it's a rosehip oil. I highly recommend you try a rosehip oil. This has been life-changing in terms of my skin tone. So in terms of taking away any redness, in terms of taking away any acne scars, um, in terms of even clarifying your complexion, like reducing your chances of getting um, breakouts, it's amazing, like it's so good. So of any facial oils, I would recommend using a rosehip oil. Again, this is just the most affordable one that I found. I haven't really been too keen on just buying a more expensive branded one. Um, I don't know if there's a difference, there could be, but I feel like it's just rosehip oil. Um, so this one's by Cosmia Australia. It's organic, but and it's literally just rosehip oil. So then after that, I go in with a moisturizer. And so I, moisturizer has been a hard thing for me to find a good one. I don't know why, but I just have never stuck with one until I found this one. This one is amazing. It's so good. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna say amazing a lot, but it's really, really good. So again, this one is kind of funny. Maybe it's just for my skin, but it's also neem and turmeric. I feel like those are just two really good ingredients for clarifying your skin and reducing breakouts, but it's called a neem turmeric day cream and it's by the brand Alafia. So I'll show it to you so you can see it. And it just smells really good. It smells super fresh and clean and just, it's just really nice. I really love it. I feel like this has also made a huge difference in my skin. Okay, so now moving on to eye cream. So I'm just going to say, I mean, I don't have concealer on right now, so I wouldn't say that I have puffy under eyes or dark circles. I mean, it's obviously darker underneath my eyes. I feel like everyone has that, but I don't feel like I have particularly bad under eyes but they do get dry. So for me, using an under eye cream was more so in the sense of under makeup as a primer so that the concealer sat nicer and didn't kind of cake and look bad. So that's why I use this. I, like I said, because I feel like I don't have bad under eyes, um, I haven't really noticed any difference in that sense but I definitely feel like using this long term is going to benefit me in terms of, you know, dark or wrinkles, whatever, all the anti-aging properties. I'm sure this is amazing and will be super good for me to keep using it. So this is by 100% Pure. That's the brand. That's the ingredient list, literally 100% Pure. It's amazing. This is probably one of my favorite brands um, and it's called the Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream for dark circles and puffiness. All natural, vegan, it smells so good, it smells so good. It's, it smells like a cake. It's vanilla. What are the other ingredients? I don't know, but anyways, it's vanilla mixed with some other ingredients and it smells like a cake. It smells like delicious, I wanna eat it. It's just so good. And so you put it on under your eyes and you smell it there. It doesn't last for a while, but it's just so amazing. It smells great. I, it's, it's just therapeutic almost to put it on in the morning and I love it. It's super affordable. This was $35 and it's, 
still looks honestly full. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't think I've even used up half of it. And I've had this, I think for over a year now. I don't know, something like that. But anyways, it lasts for so long. It's so good, it smells great, amazing ingredients, super beneficial. And yeah, I recommend it. I really like it. <laughs> and so, okay, last product. So, this facial roller, I swear, is the biggest game changer besides obviously converting to natural skincare. It's so amazing. So, I got this from Love and Light Jewels. It's a small owned business, and the owner, I believe, is Tia. She is so incredibly sweet, sweetest person. Um, she's from Toronto, so it's a Toronto business, which is great to support local. Um, a lot of what I try to do is supporting local. So I really love this. So this is a facial roller. It's rose quartz is the, um, the gem, the stone, whatever you want to call it. And it is rose gold for the metal. It is just so beautiful, beautifully made, high quality, um, super affordable too. So basically, some background. I was pretty skeptical about using a facial roller. I honestly just thought it was a gimmick, um, an extra product to buy. Um, I didn't really think that it would make that big of a difference and thought it was maybe just more so for like a self-care routine. Um, so I just didn't really feel like buying into it, but I learned some research about traditional Chinese medicine, I think is where it originates from, um, the practice of lymphatic drainage. I could be getting this wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And so basically, apparently there is research on the benefits of lymphatic drainage. So anyways, I use this every morning and the way you use it, I'm not an expert or anything. You basically just move it or roll it on your face to the exterior or perimeter of your face and you do it everywhere. And then on your forehead, you move it like upwards and then you use it on your nose, use it under your eyes, etc. I'm not a professional, so I'm not gonna kind of go into detail on it. I had to look up how to use it. But basically, since using this, it has been the biggest life changer. So like I said, I'm not wearing any face makeup right now, like no makeup but lip product. And my skin has never been this nice, especially this time of the month, never. Like I always guarantee breakout during this time. And this is the first time where I haven't. Like I just, I started using this, this is, the product that I started using the most recently. And so I started using this a week or two, I think two weeks ago. And I solely attribute my skin's condition right now to this. I swear, like this is so amazing. I, I'm just so impressed. I honestly, if you do not have a face roller, and you're super skeptical about it, like I was, I would seriously try it. I don't know if they're all the same. Um, maybe, you know, get this one. Maybe this one's just amazing. Though I do feel like they probably do the same thing. It's probably more so just the practice of actually doing the lymphatic drainage. So highly, highly recommend trying this. I hope that it does the same for your skin as it does for me. I mean, it's just so amazing. But anyways, I do this at the end of my skincare routine in the morning after I put all my face creams on and then it just glides nice and easy and this is just amazing. <laughs> like, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm not a professional, not an expert. This is what's worked for me. I absolutely love it. I've gotten my skincare routine down packed now. This is what I am going to be using for a long time, unless you know anything changes. But this is what works for me, and this is what I swear by. These are my go-to products. 
highly recommend all of them. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll link all the products down below so that you can find them easily if you're interested in trying them. And I think that's it for today. So if you like this video, subscribe, please like it comment what you want to see comment what you liked comment what you don't like um yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this wasn't so bad and awkward but i'm new to this so i'll own up to that <laughs> okay thanks guys see ya